These achy bones, man. Achy late twenties bones. So. These guys are just never ending, huh? Oh, it appears to be that way. Oh, uh, didn't see you there, viewers. Um, oh, hello. Welcome back. Welcome to the show. Eat. That's that, uh, yeah. telescope keeps on getting you, huh? <laughs> yeah, I really would like, um, no, we're gonna do that. That way, worst case scenario, I... Um... But I'm used to the sword being, uh... On the X button? Or is it the Y button? Right there. So... I've been playing, um... I've been playing, uh... What's it called? Beast? Oh, you, you, you finally became a yeast? Yeah, I finally got into yeast. Game and Very fun game. Yeah. yeah, it is fun. But the attack is on wine. I've, I've been playing that for a good bit now. So. Um, I keep going to press that to attack because that's all I've been using to attack. Yeah, and that really is a mash, mash, mash. Yeah. Game. Which, uh, which yeast game are you playing? East Origins. Oh, nice. I thought I still had that. Oh, yeah, I bought a cop. Oh, you bought your own cop? It was on sale, and uh, I got it for like, I think it was 20 bucks. And. Ooh. I'm hoping it's like the last, or like before, where if you kill all these dudes, they stop uh, sending people to you. That's a big annoyance. Yeah, I think before it was just like, hey, you're caught. You're yeah. done. You dusted. I forgot how to get into Ganon's lair, because isn't that what you did? You got up to where Ganon was, and then he, he just, he goes, the bird took you. He goes, ha ha ha. Yeah, that's right. He spoke, and I was like, holy shit, Ganon spoke. And I was like, Ganon doesn't speak. Why would he? Why would he create such a. A foul. I don't know where I'm going with that. Man, I am. I am tired. I think I'm getting a coffee crash going right now. Did you bring some today? Yeah, I did. I drink it when uh, when we uh, when I came in right before Alex left. Mm. So I was thinking about doing this thing because you know I've been streaming some uh, Formula One lately. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'm still doing that by the time this comes out. But what I was thinking about doing, just to make mine, my stream stand out from other people's streams. My last stream didn't perform that well, and I'm pretty upset about it. Uh, what I was thinking about doing was... Oh, you can probably fly over there with you. Oh, yeah. Um, I was going to get like a... Wheel of Fortune, like, randomizer wheel and put, like, a bunch of challenges on there. Oh, that's cool. Right? And then, like, someone will sub or, 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 or follow or something, you know? And then yeah. I'll, I'll spin the wheel and see what we get. And, that's uh, pretty fun. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know how much those fuckers cost? No, oh, but I know, I know everyone, every freaking creator and their mother has one. Yeah, 40 bucks for a smaller one. Pretty small one. It's not bad, but it's a little more than I was expecting. Yeah, right? Like, you would think, maybe 15. Yeah, I was thinking, like, 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. But I was thinking about doing that, and like, oh, yeah, you give me a sub, I'll eat, uh, we'll spin the wheel. Oh, look, I have to eat an entire banana with, with the skin on. We don't have to do that. We don't have to put that on the list. I'll do it. No, okay. we'll put one was enough. <laughs> I only did the one bite. It was fine. I just gotta make sure that that's not super harmful to me. <laughs> what the uh, shit? I guess it's just roughage. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. But the, the, another one was like, oh, I'll do the entire length of this race with the uh, helmet on. That gets hot. And you think it's hot in here already. Oh boy. Full face covering? I'm done for. Another okay. fun one that I was thinking. I'll eat an entire deviled egg. <laughs> Before. Or not a deviled egg, an entire. Um, hard-boiled egg, and I have to complete it before the end of the lap. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to eat a whole other one. It's not that hard to do, though. Are you mean like peel peeling it? Peel it and yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, that, that's where it comes into, comes into play. That's hard. You gotta make sure those eggs are done right to do that. Yeah. I'll just boil a dozen. Come over here. I can eat so many of those, man. I... Eggs, though, very expensive. Yeah. No. Dude, last week I um for dinner at one point I had for dinner obviously eight hard boiled eggs and I was like, okay. And I was still hungry for more. But I was worried about my cholesterol, so I stopped eating them. <laughs> you know what I had for lunch today? Right before you came over, I was like, I'm hungry. Hmm. You need to make something to eat. And I was like, I don't have time. I just ate a pound of carrots and had a tea. Wow, that's so unlike you. I know, right? <laughs> hey, they, they, they don't know that I do nothing but eat carrots all day. You eat like a pound of carrots a day. I had to cut back on it, though. Where, where was it? What occurred? Have you cut back on it? I was eating like three pounds a day. Yeah. And then, uh... I think... Yeah. And then, what's it called? <laughs> Honestly... So, what really caused me to cut back was... So I was making those, you know, low-calorie sandwiches and eating... I would eat a pound of carrots, and I would t and I would only... I had to finish the pound of carrots before I had the sandwich. And then... Um... But then, uh, everyone liked the sandwiches so damn much... Yep. And I start having to make, as you've seen, tons of these sandwiches. So many sandwiches. Um, so, but because of that, we didn't go shopping enough. Because I had to make enough sandwiches to last, so we weren't going to the store, you know, every other day. Can you climb through that window? I can't remember. These weird little creepy devil guys. There's so many of them. No way. But... I... But then we ran out of fridge space because it was all full of these dang sandwiches and other stuff. And I was like, man, I, you know, I'm just, I want to just eat these sandwiches and carrots, but there's not enough room in the fridge for all of the carrots that I need. So I could only get like, I can only, every time we go, I can only get like four pounds of carrots. And that sounds like a lot, but whenever I was eating three pounds of carrots a day, <laughs> not. Yeah, it's like instant. So now I just keep them for whenever I'm like if I feel like I'm gonna binge and I'm gonna eat too much bad food, I'm just like, you know what? Let me go grab a pound of carrots. Because it doesn't matter who you are, put a pound of carrots in your stomach. You are going to be uh, satiated. Oh yeah, big or at least you're going to be like, I don't need to eat <laughs> right now. And then it fills up that time gap as well that you want to spend eating. Yeah, because it takes so long to eat and it's yeah. so, like, snacky that... Yeah. Everybody throw away your chips. Just buy pounds and pounds of carrots. Honestly, and they're so cheap. Ah, uh, damn it. At least that was probably going to happen anyways, right? Yeah. Bag of chips is what, like... I, I honestly haven't bought chips in a really long time. I, I don't... I didn't like chips, before, you know, before I was trying to eat... Before I was eating healthy. 
Um, I honestly don't know how much a bag of chips is either. I'm guessing like what two fifty three dollars. Yeah, probably about three bucks. I would assume. I have to call Shuey. Shuey eats a lot of chips. Yeah, I, I, I don't snack. That's the weird thing about me. What I typically do, and what I'm actually doing today, is I forget to eat. And then you just go. I could just fast. Yeah, and I, I typically, God. I, I fast. Where is that coming from? Yeah. Oh. You know what? I think I'm not supposed to go here. I think it's because you have to kill the spotlight guys first. If that spotlight guy wasn't there, they probably wouldn't be shooting at you. Is that out? I don't remember. No, I guess not. So, yeah, I, I, I uh, forget to eat all day and then I get really hungry and busy. And I don't do this on purpose. At all. Yeah, you just start the day. Yeah. And then you start doing stuff and then you spend... I, I did that yesterday. Um, because, you know, we woke up, we watched the Grand Prix. Grand Prix. Yeah. Uh, Audrey de Bajon Grand Prix. Um, and then we didn't sleep the night before. I didn't sleep the night before. Yeah, you got maybe an hour. Yeah, I think I literally got like, I think I got two and a half hours of sleep. Um, and we woke up, watched the Grand Prix. You left to go home and like shower and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I went to go run. Um, use my own restroom for defecation. And uh, you don't like pooping here. I I don't like pooping anywhere. And I read it, you know, since I read that bathroom. Nicer now. Yeah. yeah. In case you're interested. So um, your bat your bathroom so far out of the way, I actually probably feel more comfortable with that. But I I I have such a hard time like getting comfortable enough to evacuate. <laughs> in someone else's house. Have you ever used, uh, have you ever had to poop in my bathroom? No. Oh, there's a really fun little Easter egg. Uh, as you know, what's in my bathroom. A piece of furniture that doesn't usually go in a bathroom that's in my bathroom. Uh-huh. Well, there's a mirror on it. It's right level. <laughs> so when you sit down, you're just looking right at yourself. <laughs> I had a, uh, a friend, you know, uh, Bachman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His family, uh, restroom at his house had a mirror looking right at you, like right in front of the sink. And it was so weird just to be staring at myself, doing the deed. It's like, oh, I didn't know I made that face. <laughs> yeah, this thing, it's all, it's right there, you know, like you have to, you have to tilt down like a bit. Yeah. Um, and hunch like a bit to, uh, to see, but you know. Dude, and, and you know I've been going over to his house before cell phones too so it was just like oh this is weird you are here thanks Ganon weird directory in a, in a fortress but okay damn it this, this is where I was oh no this is something different I wanted to fuck with you China. um but yeah, I remember every time every time someone has a uh... Oh, it's one of those hands. Wallmaster, where do you see a wallmaster? Uh right there. Right in front of you. The, on the floor. That's a wallmaster? Yeah. You'd probably be able to get by him. Or not. Fucking hate wall masters. You remember how to break out of here, right? Yeah. Uh, right jump up me. there. Yeah, dude, I am so foul shot. It's crazy. I don't, I, I don't think I've actually ever been able to uh, take a take a number two and a. Uh, in a public restroom. Really? Yeah. I don't like to, but boy, how do you have I had to do it for uh, emergency reasons? Yeah. Like 
I, I, I know the nom story. Oh my god, the nom story. Um, so I'll tell that story for the listeners. Yeah. So, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I spent a fair bit of time in Vietnam with fellow social nerd Bastion, who um, his family is Vietnamese. Wonderful people. Hope you're all out there watching this. Um, but the we were on a trip and am i going over or down what maybe down i think because there's there's more smashies or is in there no you're in a different spot than i thought you were yeah, yeah. just keep going over it. um we went on a on a trip in vietnam uh we were going to the beach in the coast and they rented like this uh that's where i'm going all right um they rented this that's where you came from yeah well uh, you know gotta go back through uh they rented this bus in order to take us you know the whole family to this beach i don't know hotel bungalow resort it wasn't a resort because it wasn't like it wasn't an organized thing Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it was more like bungalows. Um, oh, so it was like a an Airbnb type situation. Yeah, like, yeah. It was like, like or a, a cabin or. Yeah, exactly. It was like a beach cabin, right there on you know, right by the beach, and. But, so, I asked Sebastian before we leave. I'm like, hey, is a. Uh, you know that that moment where you're like, I could, boot. um, yeah, but I don't necessarily have to. If I'm at my house, I will always take that chance. Um, exactly right. Like you can just go, but when you're out, you're like, I could, but I don't know. So get all uncomfortable and bloated later on. Exactly. The more you walk, the more. Or I was like, hey, Sebastian, where, how long are we going to be, uh, you know, how long are we going to be, um, driving? And he was like, oh, it's not that far. We're just going right to the, uh, we're going right to the, um, the resort or the bungalows, wherever you want to call it, the hotel. And... Oof. There you go. That's how you die. Um, but we're going right there, so you know it's just it's just a quick drive out of the city and to the beach. And I was like, oh, okay. So my head was, I was like, I don't really have to go. I could just push it, and then we'll go. We'll go to the hotel, and we're gonna like change and stuff anyway. So no big deal. But we were driving for like hours and hours i know because i was like i watched a movie on my phone and then i it, and then by the end of the movie i was like man i gotta go and then i was just listening to music and then his cousins were like trying to talk to me but i watched the movie and i was like man i gotta go and then i was listening to music and i was like all right i really gotta go and then i was just sitting there doing this thing where you know it's, where you're like make a fist yeah and you just make a fist and squeeze as hard as you can what the heck oh i'm looking through the fire why is that doing that? Um, and Bastions and his cousins were all just like, you know. Not caring. Uh, no, the thing is I just didn't say anything. And I didn't, I didn't tell. But then Sebastian, like they were joking around and cousins were sitting behind us. And I was just like, Sebastian looked at me and was like, hey man, are you okay? And I was just like, no, I have to go. And they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, I need to go to the bathroom, like, right now. Um, and they were like, like, right now, right now? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to leave. And then, uh, Sebastian's cousin, oh my god, Lucito just started screaming, Dad, he got to take shit! He got to and then Sebastian's trying to speak in Vietnamese to his family, like, hey, we gotta stop. And they are like, we're only like, Sebastian was like and they were like we're almost there and then I was like no no gotta go 
and so they find like a rest stop like you know right on the side of the road stop and you know it was just some you know it was like a little store thing uh like a convenience yeah like a convenience store tourist rest stop thing um i already killed already this guy did. so we stop and then they're you know trying to sell a bunch of stuff doing the whole doing the whole spiel and that one's down you guys were just like where's the bathroom where's the bathroom where's yeah the bathroom? like where's the bathroom? bathroom where's the bathroom and you know then everyone else was like all right you know like but then so we go to the bathroom and it was a south southeast southeast asian style bathroom whereas ostensibly it was a little strange because it was like the top of a toilet buried in the ground it was like a bowl in the ground yeah i'm f i'm familiar with it. i know some people may not be but it's it's like long and rectangular right what no it was like a no it was like a toilet bowl it was curved it was just oh really it was just you know lush with the ground yep um so you crouch over it and then there was no flushing oh i'm back in the damn prison so i had to you know crouch down first time i had to do that since i was there Did not really uh oh okay cool um, and then all there was, was there was a, it was really hot, it was outside, and that's fourth, oh shit! Sweet! Um, it was hot, it was outside, there was literally just like a curtain, and then all there was, was just a, like, bigot. A little turn thing in a bucket and it was literally like do your business take the bucket okay. fill with water throw it down uh no toilet paper oh so did you have to take the bucket and use it for that as well no i had to go i went sebastian find me toilet paper. <laughs> and so he went to the back of the bus where we had toilet paper and brought it well, that's somewhat lucky yeah um, oh no, they, the thing is, they don't really use toilet paper in Vietnam. It's all hoses and bidets and stuff. So, uh, got toilet paper, and then everyone was, and then I came out and was like, it's very uncomfortable, and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe everyone had stopped at this, like, you know, piece of crap hole in the wall thing. And then he was just like, hey, um, and then Sebastian was like, why'd you use those toilets? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, they have a Western toilet right in that little room right there. And the door was open right across from the way. And then just, there it was. A, just a re you know, a regular toilet in a bathroom, not outside behind a curtain. <laughs> and I was like, he's a fucking crap. And then we go out and all of those bathrooms are just leading to the pigs. <laughs> I was like... They were like, hey, I guess they're happy that you fed their pigs. I was like, fucking hate everything about this trip and everything and everyone. And it was one of the most embarrassing things of my life. Yeah, especially with Sito. <laughs> yeah. That dude was oh, just screaming on that bus. You gotta do Did they really not stop? I guess not. Anyway, be prepared for anything. Yeah, I don't know when or if. I'll ever go to Vietnam, but that—that—that's one of the one of the fears. Because yeah. <laughs> you get they, you guys do that trip, but there's always auxiliary trips as well. Yeah, and those are the ones that are those are the Thailand. wild cards. You went to Thailand last time, right? Yeah. Uh find out what a ping pong drill was. Jesus Christ! I went in a circle. Where do I go? I think that okay so all those are down except for that one right so yeah take that one down and then we'll have to find where you're trying to sidle across earlier before but getting knocked down by the cannon but it blows me up every time no 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 like kill it go, go back up there kill that one and there was a, a, a 
a spotlight flashing on you at the oh, time. Yeah, so I think if the spotlight is down, the sidle point was getting to that one. Was it really? Yeah. I think I have to go inside, find the way. There we go. Now we're cooking. But now that we've got that done, I I guess uh, we'll leave the next adventure for uh, next time. Oh yeah, look at that. Stay nerdy, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the story. Stay nerdy.